What's up everyone? Welcome back. Alessandro Mel here. Today I want to compare the two classic physics guys that have gained the most popularity lately, namely Chris Bumstead and Steve Lures, aka Mr. Propa. These are two guys with arguably the best genetics in the whole division. They're both young, they're in their 20s, and I'm pretty sure they'll be the face of the sport in the next years. We're now comparing their latest versions, so Bumstead from 2017 Olympia and Steve from 2018 Pittsburgh Pro. Let's keep in mind that even if Steve won that show and it was a bit controversial, I made the video about it, he didn't bring his best version. And also, lights in Pittsburgh were not the best, so we're just doing this for fun guys. Let's break it down pose per pose together. So, first pose, we got a front double biceps. As you can see, these two guys got, got similar structures. Chris is showing an impeccable V taper, small waist, the best vacuum in the whole IFBB, in my opinion. Lats popping out, quads separated. He's got a good vascularity also. Arms are his weakness, not big enough and his biceps are short. Indeed, he's been putting a lot of work lately to bring him up. To be honest, even if he's a front double biceps, his arms get overlooked by the rest of his amazing body. Imagine how good this guy looks. I also like how he places his legs in a men's physique -ish way. <laughs> Mr. Prop also has a very impressive V taper with that tiny little waist. He's looking pretty full upstairs. See, wide, beautiful arms. He's got cartoonish features. Look how small his legs are. This is a tie to me, and I'll tell you why. Even if Bumstead is way more conditioned, Steve has beautiful lines, and it's undeniable that he's got better arms. So it's a tie to me. Next pose, we got a uh, side chest. Bumstead looking hard. He's got crazy striations on his chest. Dell's also looking full and striated. Downstairs, look at his hamstrings and calves. Unbelievable. Love this one. Steve has better forearms, better tricep sweep, but I already said it. I personally don't like the way he hits his pose, so I give this one to Bumstead. Back double biceps. Steve takes it. Bumps that look shred in this one. Traps popping out. Christmas tree also is there. Although he's lacking of size and muscle density. I mean, he's got good proportions. It's a pretty good back. I mean, it's not that bad, but it's not a world class back as of yet. That's why, in my opinion, he didn't win the Olympia last year. This is another body part he's got to bring up. Steve's looking definitely fuller than Bumstead. Like, thicker lats, better tricep sweep. He still needs to improve his width if he wants to compete against Brion and Pedersen. Do I think he could do that? Definitely. He's got all the tools to do that. Next pose. We got abdominals and thighs. Bumstead is a piece of art in this one. Conditioning is on another level. Vacuum is bringing back the golden era. Look how detailed and separated those quads are. Also, I don't know if you guys noticed, when he hits his pose, he flexes his abs first, and then he does the vacuum. And as he does that, he draws all the attention on himself. Steve, uh, well, this picture of Steve is a bit blurry. Although he's looking pretty flat in this one. His abs are barely showing. Quads are huge as usual, but Bumstead takes it. Then we got a classic pose. Bumstead looks as classic as it gets in this one. And even if his arms are lacking of size, in my opinion, they get overlooked. Like, lats, 
you know, V taper, amazing vacuum, details on those wheels. So overall, it's showing in a very nice package. Steve is hitting this pose like Arnold back in the 70s, and I immensely respect that. But apart from that, and apart from the fact that his arms are better than Bumstead's, he's got nothing else on him. So Bumstead takes this pose as well. So I got Bumstead winning side chest, abdominals and thighs, and classic pose. And I got Steve winning back double biceps. And from double biceps is a tie. So Bumstead wins three to one. As I said, we're just doing this for fun. But I personally can't wait to see them battling it out at the Olympia. So thank you guys for watching. Please let me know what you think in the comment section below and stay tuned.